What is going on everybody, welcome back to Civilization 5 with the AI only reverse colonization game. Things are starting to get interesting, it just passed turn 260, two civs have now settled in the empty part of the world and it seems like more are going to be joining them very soon. But let's quickly go over the info addicts right now, it's the start of episode 5. Argentina, biggest population, 12.8 million, just ahead of the Sioux in North America with 12.3 million. The Shoshone in third, 11.9 million, then it's a bit of a drop to Canada with 10 million, Brazil with 9 million, then Samoa, 8 million, <coughs> sorry, and after that there's quite a big drop down to 2 million. Already the Iroquois, Kimberley, Inca, Aztecs and America have died off, that's 5 civs, leaving 18 still in the game. Texas have 6,000 people, that is pretty crazy. Um, Buccaneers ahead of them with 306,000. 678,000 Chinook, so that's a bit of an idea of who is at the bottom. Crop yield, the uh, smallest is Texas again. The leaders are the Sioux, 225 million bushels of food. Canada then in second, 194 million. 181 million from the Shoshone in third, Argentina fourth. Samoa, again, fifth. Samoa got a lot of people. It's kind of weird what Samoa are doing, but they're, they're making it. They're doing their, their own thing, and it's working for them. Production, the Sioux again in the lead, 171 million. Again in the lead? Oh, yeah, they were in the lead for crop yield. Sioux in the lead, 171 million tons ahead of the Shoshone on 157 million tons. Argentina then on 152 million tons. Canada, 140 million tons. Brazil on exactly 100. Then you've got the Kulin in Australia in sixth. GMP, let's ignore that. Land area, Argentina, as expected, 2.15 million square kilometers, over half of South America, I think, if I added it all up properly. Not going to do that, though. Shoshone, 1.8 million in second. Canada, third, 1.45 million. The Sioux in fifth, fourth, sorry, 1.3 million. The Kulin in fifth, 1.12 million. New Zealand in sixth with 1 million square kilometers. That's pretty impressive. Brazil and Australia down here, too. Tlingit, Chile, Mapuche. Um, next up, military manpower, the one everyone wants to see, don't they? Canada in the lead. Obviously, it's as of right now, the Shoshone and Sioux just fought each other in a big war, so it's kind of uh, relative, I guess. Canada, 192,000 soldiers. Argentina, 190,000. Sioux, 183,000. Shoshone, 155,000. Brazil, 137,000. Samoa and New Zealand, just both around 120,000. Pretty interesting. Corral, Chile, Mapuche. Interesting to see the South Americans squeezing in um military map approval kind of interesting also to see that Kulin are quite far behind Samoa and New Zealand um onto social policies Argentina in the lead 21 Brazil on 20 California 19 they're the most cultured nations and it drops to the Shoshone New Zealand 16 and then quite a few all the way down to apparently I have oh no I have none I thought it said I had nine I was like no happiness is Everyone's positive. The Tlingit just making it by as a Canada. Some of the big nations. I messed up a little bit, Buccaneers. I'm sorry. They shouldn't be winning, but they are. Technologies. Shoshone, 45. The Shoshone winning on tech. I didn't expect that. Um, then Argentina and the Sioux on 44. Brazil, 43. Canada falling down a little bit, 42. Mapuche, 41. In South America. In the Australia, it's Samoa on 37 in the lead. Ahead of Australia, 36. Quite a big drop off though in difference between the Oceana sieves and the North Americans. Net gold is gold per turn. There's still people making huge losses. Chile minus 44 gold per turn. Tlingit minus 34. Corral minus 26. California minus 23. Mapuche minus 9. Kimberley minus 1, even though they have any cities. Not, oh no, they're dead. I was going to say, how are they making no gold per turn? Brazil with the strongest economy as of right now though. Cities, Shoshone and Sioux both have 8, Canada 7, Argentina 6, New Zealand also on 6, as are the Kulin. Um, let's see, science output, the Sioux in the lead, 315 science per turn, the Shoshone 301 science per turn, then Brazil and Argentina just behind, 267 for Brazil, 237 for Argentina, Canada quite a way behind, 185, Samoa 149, culture output, Argentina 204 culture per turn, well out ahead, Brazil 171 per turn, and then Sioux all the way down in third on 69 per turn, Canada 61, 58 Shoshone, they're the big five sieves right now, I'm not going to say anything more than that, they are the big five, New Zealand are probably sixth with Samoa, you know, a bit of a tie. Um, Wonders, Argentina 13, the Sioux 5, Maya, Brazil Shoshone on 3, Canada 2, and the Kulin did grab 1, 
Treasury, lots of people with lots of money. Quite a few people with negative money as well, although most of these guys are dead. The Tlingit and Chile, they're in trouble. Their economy is not doing good. Faith, lots of people, lots of faith. Faith gain, mostly the Tlingit. Influence, Brazil, Shoshone and Kanda have all influenced three nations entirely, apparently. Um, Argentina won. The Sioux have got none, which is quite interesting. Um, influence, great works. Argentina, nine. Brazil, eight. Four for Canada, three for the Kulen Sioux in New Zealand, and a few others have got one or two. Trade routes, mostly fives, a few twos. This, the Sioux have only got two. That's interesting, because they could be making more money. Um, although they might be embargoed in a few turns. Tourism, Brazil leading. Then Argentina, then Canada, Shoshone and the Sioux. Again, the big five. Quick hop over to the religion overview if I can find it, there we go so the number one religion at the moment, I mean there's two actually kind of out there, the two main religions of the world is Protestantism from the Tlingit in North America and you've got Kimberley with Kimberley's religion, obviously Buddhism is pretty strong in Oceania, it's the only religion out in Oceania so it's doing pretty well even though they're dead with 20 cities, then on 8 cities you've got Hinduism in South America Argentina have Confucianism their own religion on six and Brazil again Catholicism in three so South America's got a lot of religions the corral also there with Shinto Texas did have Judaism but they're struggling to leave the Caribbean region sort of the coastal Gulf of Mexico region here but anyway there is going to be a new city in Europe soon Canada are on their way with a settler and I was getting excited about that but I nearly missed this Australian settler heading for Africa so two new continents about to be settled obviously Asia has already seen New Zealand and Samoa arrive that is it so far but hopefully we can see some more very soon. I think this is going to be the start of the race now towards colonisation. Once Canada realise how much land really is free out here. I think Canada should know. They've got a lot of settlers going around the map. But yeah, once Australia get over here, I think it could open the door to a lot more colonisation. And there we go, the Sioux v Corral. That is a bit random, but um, okay. Whatever, Sioux. <laughs> Do what you want, really. You are pretty pretty strong at the moment your problem is still having so many borders that things could go wrong pretty quick but we'll see navies play a big importance Canada with another settler heading for Europe it's getting good Canada this could be the turning point in that top five who wins this game because it seems like there is a top five at the moment with Canada being the only one so far to send settlers out for the new world I wonder if Argentina or Brazil actually know of Africa um, that would be interesting to know. Argentina with Brandenburg Gate. Still going strong on the wonders, Argentina. They've got their gauchos. Their men with rifles on horses. Their musketmen. They've got some riflemen too. Yeah, I just wonder whether Argentina, who've got a big trade route. They really are fond of the Mayans, apparently. Okay, there's a big war, of course. Mapuche in the corral. Fighting in... Just west of... In the Pacific. Easiest way to go. Kulin on Australia, peace out, and nothing's changed. Australia held on to all of their land, so that is good Good news for Australia. Anyone rooting the, the Aussies on, I guess? Um, all these New Zealand, oh no, they still have a few units here, but most of them have moved over here. They know Palmerston, it is the first colony. It is also important down here in Southeast Asia. It's going to be quite interesting to see if it, if sieves sort of just pick their spot and then take it for themselves or whether it sort of just becomes a big mess of everybody going everywhere. Or, like, will New Zealand be the only ones in Southeast Asia? Will East, Far East, at least Japan, just be Samoas? I don't know where Canada are going to go. It looks like they're heading just for France, maybe just where I said they would go. Oh, no, Northern Spain. That's fine. They've got another settler heading over the ocean. Hopefully it does not settle on the islands over here. I mean... You know, those islands, no, no offence to those islands, but I would like to see them go for Europe. It's going to be big. Canada going to take the lead then in the colonial game. Australia, probably going to go Madagascar before the rest of Africa. Not sure. It's up to them. But let's see. Let's see. They are on land. Are they going to settle? Shoshone's turn. Taking a long time, as usual. Whenever I focus on the turns that I notice it, normally I don't notice it, I'm just sort of... Zooming around the map, having a look at what's going on. Argentina's turn was very quick, but that's random that Shoshone's was so long. Maybe they were doing something important. Normally it does take a while when they're trying to negotiate deals with other AI, so that can sometimes be there. Like Canada's was insanely quick just then. Um, and they're not settling. Maybe they're going to push over and have the Mediterranean to themselves. That would be 
interesting. See how that goes. And there we go. Outbreak of consumption in the capital of the Sioux. Ooh. Disease could hurt the Sioux here. The biggest, most populated nation of them all. Getting a big disease. That's not going to help them. They've got a lot of high population cities too. So they're not going to benefit too much from this. Um, Australia. Nope. They're heading straight into Zulu. Usual Zulu territory. Oh my goodness. Argentina. This could be game changing because Argentina and Brazil are fourth and fifth I think that's how I'm looking at it right now the three North Americans are a bit ahead of them tech wise importantly but this is bad for South America Argentina coming out on top normally South America they just stay peaceful and then maybe a small nation that's doing okay gets taken out towards the end but this is pretty big this is this is big Brazil's turn now going to take a long time as they try to Organize a fight back. Brazil aren't weak. This is going to be costly for Argentina. But Argentina, all their units are grouped together. This could be quite an effective war. If they take Rio, even if they just take one city at a time in like four separate wars, obviously over time, it's going to help them a lot. Rio will give them a lot of wonders, a lot of culture from Brazil. will probably be going through Rio, I can imagine. So we'll see how it plays out. Let's see. No one has settled yet in the uh, of the colony. So I'll just focus on this for now. Oh, no, spoke too soon. Quebec City in Barcelona. And talk about big rivalries. New Zealand v Australia. I feel like there's a rivalry there. I don't know whether New Zealand will win, but um, obviously the Kulin just finished up. New Zealand have got plenty of boats, but they're not all in the right place. Let's see how this pans out. Where's that other... S okay, Canada going for Africa, it seems, with their other settlers. So Canada just happy to go wherever they want. They, they don't care. They're just going for... Oh, and they've got another settler, two new settlers... Canada, you're doing the job. You're settling. Good job. You've already settled in sort of Barcelona here, which is going to give you probably a big chunk of Europe to yourself because no one else is out here right now. Wow. That is that's a bit of a shock. But New Zealand v Australia, that's an interesting one. New Zealand probably need to throw some more ships at this. Probably thought, could have thought about it a bit better because most of their units are up here in Southeast Asia. Uh, the Kulin have got a lot of units exploring Indonesia at the moment. I don't know why. Maybe they're thinking about attacking somebody. But we'll see. Australia whereabouts. You're heading deep into southern Africa right now. Wow. I First ideology. Wow. That came out of nowhere. The Sioux. Go in order. So communism in the uh, largest American nation at the moment. That is a bit of a surprise. Canada piecing out with California. California going to attack the Chinook. I don't think they'll be able to take the Chinook out just yet but i say that and um so every continent will soon be settled in africa will have been settled in europe asia that's interesting although mainland asia well yeah i get asia's huge let's let's leave it at that russia is still empty though shoshone joining the war against brazil that's not going to help out here and this could be oh my god argentina you cruel 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 ai what on earth is that monstrosity on the Mapuchians. They don't deserve this. You've actually cut off this city because of the mountains as well. Wow, Argentina. The Tlingit. Okay, Chinook are probably going to die soon with the Tlingit's help. Things, Some big wars popping up all of a sudden. New Zealand, if you send these ships in, you could definitely make more of an effort. But you don't seem to be trying too hard. Wow. This is some big stuff going on. Canada and Argentina seem to have a bit of a makeshift alliance as they join forces against the Chinook. I don't know what the Chinook have done, but they are going to be killed off here down the west coast. The, the Tlingit could really do with taking this, I'm going to be honest. The Tlingit could really benefit from this. The Sioux being hit with that disease still. Canada, how are you making it towards... I don't know where you're heading, but I guess you're heading towards sub-Saharan Africa. Australia still yet to settle. Maybe they're going for the west coast. Don't want any chance of uh, the Kulin sending boats over and taking them out, probably. New Zealand trying but nothing's really going down Argentina v Brazil this is a pretty big war because Cusco is under siege from Brazil in the north of Argentina and if Brazil took that they would obviously get control of all of these Argentinian citadels which have just cut through the Mapuche that is evil Mapuche probably gave them open borders as well which is why it's so awful but um yeah that is pretty bad Mapuche I feel for you but look the Sioux have got a navy here quite a strong one Compared to everyone else, at least. Coming over. So we'll see what that does. Yeah, Canada going down here. I don't know where Australia are going. 
Australia, if you go any further, you're going to run out of land. Going to be honest here. Got to be honest with you. Uh, any more from Canada? Those other settlers, one's made it to the coast up here. Another one's coming through Ottawa. Doesn't seem like they have any more. Maybe they're building some... Oh, they are. Oh, that's why Canada attacked the Chinook. Okay, they're going to take Conopy up here. I think that's how you say it. So, they'll take that. That's a good, smart move. Can't believe it. Quebec City. Finally, Spain. Sp Spanish people, how do you feel about that? If there's any Spanish viewers. How do you feel? There's two settlers heading out this way. Both seem to be heading towards Europe. Because the other one came out this way to head to Africa. Australia still haven't settled. That is kind of annoying. Montezuma is in the Renaissance here. I have no idea how. Because he's not... I don't think he's making any science while he's dead. But, um... Whatever. Chinook. No one's attacking the Chinook. But there is a big Klingit force here. Even though it's a bit outdated in terms of what they have. Chinook have got some units in North... Northern Japan, East Asia, having a look around. There's a worker here. I have no idea why they sent a worker over here. Because they don't have a city. But Buccaneers and Argentina now friends. Australia holding off New Zealand, as expected. Oh, yep, okay, as expected. Canada took that city over. No surprises. And let's see. Argentina v Brazil. Still lots of fighting between units. No signs of any sieges beginning just yet. Lots of casualties. Are the Sioux going to go try help one of these two out? Are they going for Argentina or Brazil? Let's have a quick look. Oh no, I didn't mean to open that. Embargo of the Sioux and California is being voted on in seven turns. Let's just see first quickly. Global politics. Brazil at war with Shoshone and... Ar no. Okay, so you're not at war with the Sioux. So I don't know what the Sioux are doing with that navy, but they're sending it over either way. Um, the Sioux are at war with Corral. You're going to a lot of effort, Sioux. If you're coming all this way around just to take over the corral. I mean, maybe they want to build boats in New York and then send them round to this city over here. I don't know. Maybe they want to do that. I'll, I won't berate them. Where'd the Australians... Oh, it's up here in sort of like... An no, Congo, I guess. Angola's more down here. Congo. Canada and Australia are going to settle probably quite close to each other if they keep this up. I wonder if they're going to settle in the Middle East too. That would be interesting. Turkey. Iran. There's so much space for sieves. Like, everyone could have their own little area, and the world could be happy. But no, Canada have got to go and take two different places. Why not? Um, where are those settlers? Wow, yep, two settlers heading over towards Europe. So that's that's their aim. Only just into the industrial era, New Zealand. You're a bit behind. But at the moment, the Sioux are the only sieve with an ideology. So we'll see how it plays out. Obviously, Argentina will be a big one for ideology and Brazil. Brazil are still alive because they've got a lot of tourism saying that the Sioux may not be going after Corral actually they may just de declare war in a second on Argentina just to really screw them over and make this less interesting but um I don't have to feel about this it's cool to see South America being interesting but at the same time I do feel bad like Argentina are pulling away with it here and there's not not no one to stop them like there is up north let's see Canada are you going to settle Britain or are you just going to leave? Actually, there's no resources in Britain. This map maker really went in to say that Britain was worthless, I take it, because it is empty. And also, the River Thames is huge. Probably should only come to about one tile. I'm not going to stop moaning, but it should probably be about one tile. And there should be another river here, maybe, the Seven. But anyway, Australia finally settled in pretty much where the Congo spawn every time. So there we go, Canberra. It's a puppet. So that's more realistic, I guess, because it is technically... A puppet if it's a colony that's the fourth sieve to settle in the old world yay and looks like canada should very soon have another two, three cities when they finally make their mind up on a location <laughs> is there any settlers just wandering around that i've missed i doubt it like out here in russia no canada are just here california sorry uh, mapuche and corral have peaced out nothing happened mapuche are still furious at what Argentina has done. They just wanted these little cool statues for themselves. That is, that was, I can't believe this. How they were saving it just for that as well. Like, that would have been so much more helpful putting like four along the Brazilian border. But no, they just thought, yep, let's stick them on. And strategically as well, they could have put them around Brazil's border. The rate Argentina's borders are growing, they're going to grow around here and cut off the, um, 
Corral before Corral gets to Antarctica. I think that's the way things are looking down there. Canada, are you actually going to settle? I'm kind of, you know, these wars have sort of staled out. Australia and New Zealand is now nothing. Nothing's going on. Um, there's a huge Samoan force over here. That's interesting. Are you maybe going... No, no more settlers up to Japan. Okay, fine. Whatever. Okay, another settler's landed in Portugal. This one may be heading further into Europe, it seems. Because it's not diverted down just yet. So that's interesting. Yet to settle in Africa. You're getting closer to Argentina. I guess you want to be coastal. Bottom of this river. Lots of crabs. Not going to not gonna moan at you for settling there. But... Oh! Ooh, now that is an interesting war. While New Zealand and Argentina are distracted with each other, not uh, Australia and New Zealand not doing very much. Samoa, that could be interesting, Samoa. I mean, that could be interesting. If you start taking cities in Northern Australia, that could be interesting. Australia and New Zealand pieced out. Thank goodness you didn't give anything away this time, New Zealand. If they'd have given away Palmerston, I would have been very annoyed. This is This is the OG colony. There we go, Canada did settle. Charlottetown. 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 I don't know. Call it Charlottetown. California and the Mayans be Texas. Um, Texas need either the Buccaneers or the Sioux to finish them off. Put them out of their misery, I guess. Buccaneers won't be doing it anytime soon. Neither will the Sioux. The Mayans, uh, Mayans if they get open borders, which they probably won't. I mean, I, I don't know. Probably won't. No one else going for an ideology just yet. No one else has got free factories, I take it. The Sioux starting to build up quite a big army. A lot of units starting to appear. Luckily, the thing is the Sioux are just sort of surrounded by both sides, which is what makes it interesting. The Can Canadians and the Shoshone can attack the Sioux, feeling relatively safe, even though they do now border each other. I think they are relatively okay. What the heck? What is this? <laughs> Canada? Can you uh, care to explain what the hell has gone on? Uh, the outbreak has ended. How on earth did they get that tile? Embargo the suit. Oh, I don't want to vote on anything. I'm going to abstain. <laughs> Nearly embargoed somebody. Hey, at least I didn't have to vote. Normally I have to propose something, always. Apparently not this time. Wait, did some someone must have met my submarine. Oh yeah, it's only up here. It's not that. Oh, that was an unfair advantage. I should have had three submarines. Oh, I'm an idiot. Sorry. <laughs> Never thought of it like that, but I guess, yeah, they have to meet me as well, I guess. So that gave North Shoshone a big advantage. When maybe someone else would have done it if it was... If I had a submarine somewhere else. Is this, like, some unique ability, or is something really weird going on? California was not embargoed, but the Sioux was. Okay. So, um... People still want their celebrities, but not their... Not their most powerful nation on the planet kind of thing with their teepees. Seems like uh, the Sioux may have to cut back on their military spending. What the heck is going on over here? What is this? Can their settler just like walk around and add tiles to Canada? Because if so, that is that is awesome. It's a very overpack. Please settle. Okay, they did settle. That makes it up a little bit. Um... They've got an extra tile out of it, so I will let them off. But yeah, they now control the entrance to the Mediterranean, which is pretty important, I guess, for controlling Europe, Western Europe, two cities in Iberia. Probably going to go to Italy with this one, unless they go up towards more Germany. That'd be quite interesting. But yeah, Europe turning red, and this is going to help Canada big time, because it's something the Sioux and Shoshone aren't doing. Up in North America. Look at Texas. They're still trying. they got a great profit. They're like, let's go to the Sioux. They are the most powerful nation. They will do it for us. But um, you probably just voted for them to be embargoed. Actually, Texas probably voted to embargo California. So maybe not so much. So that's it. We now have four, six cities in the old world. That is pretty, pretty sweet. Hopefully we'll see some more soon. But no settlers yet crossing. Oh, the Chinook are on their way. Good job, Chinook. That's the first one I've seen crossing the Pacific, so that's good. Still no sign of colonizing from the South Americans, which was not expecting them to for longer. Like I said, Rio, this is this this is a long, bloody battle. 
going on here. But if Rio falls, Argentina should go on to clean up in future wars. Oh, they're so close. They don't have any melee units, though. Um, so that's not going to work. Argentina, wake up. You need a melee unit. New Zealand, you pieced out. The Samoans are trying. They're not They're not having too much luck, but they are trying. Always a credit. Always worth trying. American scouts, they're probably looking for oil. They're marking the locations of the uh, that Arabian Peninsula oil very, very carefully. Anywhere in the Middle East with oil, they're getting a good look at it. Persian Gulf, yep, they're heading to Iran now to go look for some nukes. Anything they can... <laughs> to um, hold on. They probably don't even know their homeland has been conquered by Canadians and natives. There we go. St. John settled in um, northern Italy. So Switzerland are going to take most of West Western Europe as their borders grow. Particularly once their borders get sort of this size. Uh, I wonder where the Chinook will go. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully they go into sort of China instead of just going, or Korea even. Cause this, I guess this is actually Russia but um yeah, into sort of China down here instead of instead of just joining Japan to annoy Samoa. That'd be kind of annoying if they did that. Are Australia sending anything more across the Indian Ocean? Not just yet. They are sending some workers out to go help out their colony, which is always smart. No more settling either in Micronesia, and Hawaii is still empty. I won't be able to tell if... Oh, yeah, I will. I was going to say, I couldn't see it on the map, but I can. Never mind. Hmm. Some interesting wars, some interesting developments. The Chinook are going to live, though. Um, yeah, no, no city's really been sieged, so let's just go focus on Rio. But then, there's no melee units, and... Oh, my God. If you've all noticed what I just noticed, um, congratulations, you have good eyesight, I guess. But, um, well, you just, you just focus very, very much on this. Um, Brazil gave the city of Machu... To the Shoshone. What are the Shoshone going to do to you, Brazil? What are they going to do to you? Nothing. You just gave a very strategically important city to the Shoshone. Well, I guess it kind of is important. I don't know if it's strategically important, but it seems important. Argentina. Oh, that's the difference between Argentina and Brazil. Argentina are brave. They, they know what they're doing, Argentina. They will definitely declare war on the Shoshone and take this city. No questions asked. That's what's going to happen there. And also, why aren't you killing their cargo ships, Brazil? Oh, you don't have a navy. Good job. Good job, Brazil. Oh, the Kulin. Aren't scared of Samoa. They're going after Australia for the third time. It probably won't work again. But we'll see. Canada and Chile. Chile, Canada versus the Mayans. Mayans, how, oh, there's a lot of boats out here. What are you guys doing? <laughs> They're probably both about to kill off the corral, which is kind of sad. But um, the Mayans, pretty safe. Chile could send some units around from that way. Maybe some will come up the Pacific. I doubt it. And I didn't see, I forgot already who was the other person attacking you. But I'm sure, oh, it was Canada. You'll be fine. Canada does not have that many ships just yet. No more settlers crossing the Atlantic just yet, though. It is, it is, seems to be over. Uh, this this could be it for settling. Although Argentina, although they don't want to settle in Africa for some reason, they are willing to send missionaries to go convert Canada and Australia's colonies. I just imagine that no one else will settle and Australia's borders will just cover all of the southern part of Africa and Canada will just have all of the Sahara because no one else bothers to come over. Maybe you should have settled these cities a bit further apart because eventually they're just going to run out of space. Like you should probably put one in like Poland, one in France and one in Spain, and they would have covered Europe a whole lot quicker, but I'm not going to criticise you just yet. Second ideology, Argentina, fascism, autocracy, but basically fascism. Um, that's interesting. They do have a rifleman here. The most cultured nation in the world is autocratic. No, no surprises there. They're probably not that cultural. They just tell their people they are cultural when the people have no idea what cultural is. But um, there we go, we've got order in North America, autocracy in South America. Will we see Oceana realise that freedom is the way to go? Probably not, because they're killing each other like savages at the moment. All of them getting involved in wars. Chinook. Yep, Chinook is bypassing Japan. That is good. 
Shoshone with the porcelain tower. Finally a wonder not going to Argentina. Van Chinook are going to be the fifth, fifth, got there in the end, fifth, I was just counting, making sure, fifth sieve to settle in the new world. Argentina v the piecing out with the Chinook. Did you give anything away stupidly? Argentina, did you give any cities to the Chinook? No. Good, I was just making sure, you know. Never know what the AI is capable of. Oh, is it going to... I don't see any Argentinian settlers. I thought there might have been, but there is not. Um, okay, well, that is going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.